When it comes to keywords, Exact Match gives you the closest, most relevant targeting towards your keywords as possible. It's really, really laser focused. As for Broad Match, well, that match type expands a lot. It goes way beyond your written keywords, but it comes with the benefit of enhanced bidding capabilities to bid towards people's intent as opposed to the keyword itself, which by the way, is a massive advantage. So with all of this said, where does that leave Phrase Match? I mean, it doesn't even match to the phrase anymore back since 2014. And even now, when you look at phrase match and you look through the search terms, the traffic is just as wide reaching as broad match, but it doesn't have the clever bidding capability. So what we're gonna to explore today is the death of phrase match. We're gonna look into this in detail because I think phrase match is going to be removed by Google, but it makes sense for us to jump before we're pushed and start looking at the shortcomings of this match type and what you should be doing instead. As I said, back in 2014, Google decided that phrase match doesn't need to be phrase anymore. They decided that to make sure advertisers don't miss out on potential good search terms, or so they say, they decided to make phrase match not work towards the phrase anymore. Remember, back in the day when you used phrase match, it had to be exactly the keyword within the double quotes which activates phrase match, the search term had to contain those keywords within the phrase match quotations in the order they're shown within the user's search term. So that is the reason phrase match was called phrase match because it matched to the phrase. So Google obviously changed that and then modified broad match came later. And do you remember that match type? It was really useful. Well, Google decided it's not gonna be used by us anymore. And they made modified broad match roll underneath the banner of phrase match, meaning that phrase match covered both close variants and also behaved like modified broad match as well. So after all of this changing, it was very obvious the direction of travel Google was going to go in because although I think Google jumps the gun a bit in doing all of these changes, it's obvious what they were trying to do. They're moving away from a keyword focus over to an intent focus and by focusing on keywords and how they match to search terms very specifically, Google thinks that their bidding algorithms would be thrown off and limited by having these types of matching in your campaigns. So flash forward to today and phrase match doesn't really do anything different to broad match. Now, I've looked at a number of campaigns and looked at the data between the search terms of a broad match campaign and a phrase match campaign. And I've even looked at campaigns where I've gone from phrase over to broad and there pretty much isn't a change in the search terms coming through. The variety of search terms you can match to on phrase are literally just as wide as broad match. So what this materially means if you're running phrase match today is that you're basically running broad match, but the obvious difference is broad match now is a better match type than phrase match because it has enhanced bidding signals. So in reality, what you're doing using phrase match in the modern era is you're actually bidding like it's 2010, casting the net far and wide, focusing on negative keywords and not even bothering with intent. And yes, even if you're on smart bidding, you aren't really bothering with intent because if you were, you'd be looking at moving over to broad match as part of your plan. So let's just explore that a little bit more because what I want to do is show you exactly what I mean in the big negative issue with phrase match versus broad match. Let's break it down in a bit more detail. Okay, so this is what I mean about the material difference between phrase match and broad match when it comes to bidding on Google Ads. So these weird little things you can see here, believe it or not, are representations of people. Yes, I know I can't draw, but these are people. These are all people who are searching for your products and services. Now, when you think about what they're searching, they're all potentially searching the same keyword. So this guy over here is searching for blue shoes. So is this guy, so is this guy, so is this guy, so is this guy, so this guy, so is this guy. So here's the difference. This guy here is looking to buy. This guy here is looking to buy. This guy here looking for pictures. He's just looking for pictures of blue shoes or inspiration. This guy here is looking for an Elvis song. I'll do an E for Elvis. I just don't know why I'm doing this, but it makes sense in what I'm saying in my head. So these guys are buyers. This guy's looking for pictures. This guy's looking for blue suede shoes, the Elvis song. This guy might be a buyer. This guy's looking for pictures. And there'll be more and more and more customers like that. But they're all fundamentally searching in the same way. So smart bidding, it understands the difference in intent between all of these people. So let's start off with phrase match. With phrase match on Google ads, you're going to bid towards your conversion goals. So Google kind of understands who's a buyer and who's not, but not massively, but it's using its smart bidding algorithm. If you're using something like target CPA or target ROAS using phrase match, it's gonna kind of understand what you, what you mean and what, what the intent is, but actually it's not going to understand nearly as much as broad match because broad match looks at the people way more than phrase match. 
Broad Match looks at historical search history as well. So this guy here looking for the Elvis song, they probably would have seen that he's looked at Elvis's album a number of times or looked at Elvis content or blogs. The guy looking for pictures may have done historical picture searches and the people in market looking to buy they may have done searches that are very high commercial intent previously to the one that got your ad clicked. So with all of that said, you can see the difference now between broad match and phrase match in material terms in the behaviors of users on Google Ads. So they're all searching for the same thing, but they're all very different personas. And what broad match can do is lean into that persona data. Phrase match can't do it as well. So you have the same traffic. Remember, they're searching the same thing. And even if your keyword was more focused than this and Google was going outside of the remit of that keyword, phrase match will do it just as much as broad match, but you don't get any of these intense signals about the difference between these types of customer. So that is why I think phrase match is basically dead. Okay, so now you understand the fundamental issue with phrase match and why it's basically becoming redundant. You might think, okay, right, I've got campaigns on phrase match right now. I need to just stop using it and move over to a different match type. But there are some considerations you need to think about before taking this decision. First of all, if you're running a phrase match campaign and things are working really well, then in the long term, Google may remove phrase match. We don't necessarily know. Personally, I think they will. But ultimately, you don't necessarily know whether that's going to be the case or not. So you don't want to act too rash. There's nothing worse than jumping into a performing campaign and making massive changes. So what should you do? Well, the first thing to realize is that your job and part of your job of managing the campaign is to go for growth. And when you're looking at a phrase match campaign, an obvious area of growth is the potential of migrating that phrase match campaign over to broad match. If you have enough conversion data and you're getting conversions regularly and you're on a smart bidding strategy, strategy already anyway, then moving from phrase match to broad match is something you probably want to put on the growth roadmap because ultimately broad match bids more cleverly than phrase match, which means that in the long term, you're going to likely get more conversions and it kind of makes it a growth strategy. So that's something you need to do. In terms of the day-to-day -day work in making that move, you don't want to just select all keywords and move them over to broad match. What you want to do is test incrementally, very small changes create a broad match ad group within your campaign. Just one ad group of the many you probably have. So a small segment within your campaign you want to test with broad match. Set those keywords as broad match. Even if they're duplicates of the phrase match keywords already in your account, Google is going to treat them differently. So what you will have is a campaign where all of your ad groups are phrase match apart from you have one duplicate broad match ad group and Google is going to obviously set those broad match keywords live. It's going to start bidding with those keywords. And what you're gonna find is as your campaign starts getting data, broad match will start getting more and more data compared to the phrase match ad group you replicated because first of all, Google favors it, but second of all, it's more likely to show impressions because even though phrase match and broad match behave very similarly, broad match is still a little bit more open to getting shown on Google than phrase match. I don't know whether this is just the behavior of Google ads or a conscious decision Google has made, but in either case, that is typically what I see. I've done this experiment a number of times and what I tend to find is after enough time and enough bidding data and enough conversion data, the broad match ad group ends up dominating over the phrase match one from both a volume pers perspective of spend and clicks, but also from a conversion perspective. It tends to get more conversions than the phrase match previous ad group that was running. So that's great. It means you can grow your campaign, you can get more impressions, get more sales, and obviously have a better bidding algorithm working for your campaigns than when you were running on phrase match. Now, let's just say for argument's sake, you make this change and what you find is that the broad match ad group is way too broad. You don't get as many conversions. Your cost per conversion starts to increase and the performance starts declining. Well, at that point, you've tested it and you can always pause that broad match ad group and go back to your phrase match setup. But if the issue you have is that moving to broad match leads to too much broad traffic and a decline in performance because Google's bidding algorithm couldn't find enough conversions on broad, even after giving it some time to perform, adding relevant negatives, etc., then you might have to look at something a little bit different. Let's just say your phrase match campaign is running okay, then you don't necessarily have to do anything. You tried the broad match test and it didn't work out, you revert, that's fine. But what if your phrase match campaign is never working that well anyway and you need to improve performance? You've got two directions to go in. You go the broad match route or you go the other way and go down to exact match. And what exact match is gonna give you is better focused traffic quality leading to lower CPAs and better performance in your campaign 
if you're seeing that phrase match is struggling and you're struggling to move up to broad match to get the volume in your campaigns. So you've got two directions, growth or efficiency. And if you're trying to maximize efficiency, say you're working as a business and you have a fixed budget and you're not necessarily looking to sink more money into Google Ads and you have a set number of leads that you need to achieve on a per month or per week basis within a specific framework, Moving down to exact match isn't the worst idea in the world, but again, you want to test this. You wanna make sure Google can use the exact match side of things as alongside the phrase match side and just see if you can get those efficiency upgrades by using exact match. So overall, what does all of this mean? Well, let's start here. Google will probably get rid of phrase match. They've already got rid of the way phrase match works. They've already got rid of a match type historically being modified broad match. That was a very short lived match type in the lifespan of Google Ads as a product. They've already done it before. They've ha they have form for this kind of thing. Don't sleep on phrase match. Expect it to go in the coming years. I can't imagine it staying based on the fact that it does basically the same growth strategy as broad match, but without the smart bidding side of things being as good. And secondly, if efficiency is your biggest concern, you could always go down to exact match. And it's not as much as a worry as it used to be because exact match is no longer exact. As you know, you're gonna get tons of close variants. You're gonna still be able to cast the net wider than you would have done using exact match back in the day. So actually you're in a pretty good position to still get a decent amount of volume with, a, with an exact match setup in the modern era compared to how it used to be. And also full disclosure, the advice in this video is gonna help you grow and scale or bring in efficiencies and reduce your CPA. If you're happy with your campaign performance on phrase match, as I said, I think Google will get rid of it, but they haven't done it yet. You don't have to do anything. If you are happy as a business running Google Ads or your client is happy as a Google Ads professional you're running on a campaign on behalf of, there's no need to do anything if you don't have to. Do not forget that. There's no binary decision here. Google hasn't pushed us yet, but down the line, they may do. But let me know in the comments, are you currently using phrase match? Do you build new campaigns in phrase match or have you abandoned it altogether? Starting with exact match or maybe even starting with broad match. Let me know in the comments below. I reply to all comments on all of my new videos. Like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to head over to darren-taylor.com if you need help with your PPC campaigns. I can audit your account. So hit me up down there and I can't wait to see you on the next video. Take care guys.